Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be making nature assets instead of Blender. And we are going to be doing this from scratch so you can use it in your own environment scenes. Uh, this will be available on my Patreon so you can go over there and support me. Uh, and that really helps make more videos like this. Let's just get started. So first, I'm just going to delete the default cube. And then I want you to go over to the link in the description. And I'll have an image file link right there, which you can download. And that's what we're going to be using. So first, we're going to be starting with making the grass. So just load in that image in your Blender scene. So Shift A, then go over to Image and then Mesh Plane. Then I want you to choose the image. And then we can go over to Render Mode. So here we have our image in our Blender scene. And this is what we're going to be working with and making our grass. I just went outside and took a picture of this tall grass. And I think this is perfect for normal grass. All right. So what we're going to be doing right now is going over into edit mode by pressing tab and then pressing K to go into knife mode. And then we're just going to cut this out pretty roughly. So something like this, cutting off the corners, but still keeping the outline. You don't have to worry about being inside of the image. It is just so that we can get the general shape right. And if you can, try to match up these vertices on the other side as well, just so we have equal vertices here. So like this, and if we just connect it over here and press enter, we should be able to just delete these faces. And then over here, hit Ctrl T, and then hit F3 and search for tries to quads. And this should be nice quad topology right now except for this one for some reason so we can just probably delete this edge and then just connect it back up doesn't matter that the image texture is not right right now just uh need to get the shape right all right so now we have the shape and i just want to align it on one of our axes like this then just move it up a little bit and then just place our 3d cursor right there set the origin to the 3d cursor and then hit alt g so it gets reset back to the world origin and then we can hit ctrl a and apply all the transformations and this is pretty high poly so we're just going to be dissolving some edges that we don't really need for the shape so for example this one can go or this one can go because the shape isn't really affected that much uh, try this one i'll probably want that this one can go this one can go and uh, maybe slide this around a little bit so it's evenly spaced like this so we still have the shape right here but just a little bit less of those edges now we have six faces and that's a little bit better and i think that's as good as it's going to get so now we can tap back into edit mode or object mode and right now what we want to do is just set up our uv map so we can bake this texture and then just apply it on the mesh so open up a new window by dragging in a corner and open up the uv editor then we want to open up our image right here. And then we go back into edit mode, hit A to select everything and then U, project from view, just so we get this back in here. And then we can just rotate and scale until it matches up roughly. And now I just want to make sure that all of these vertices are inside of the grass blade and try to get as much uh, data as we can. So for example, something like this, so we can get a straight line and try to not overlap this. And uh, that's fine. You can get this down a little bit, but it's still missing some bits here. So maybe up again and just do this until you are happy with your results. All right, so this is looking great. Everything is inside of our grass blade and that is fine in the viewport. It's looking great as well. Now what we can do is open up the shader editor and there should already be a material with the image plane. So that's fine. We can just use that and call this grass. We want this image texture. We don't need the alpha, so I'm going to disconnect that. And I want to do some U saturation and value adjustments, just because I think this should look a little bit less blue and a little bit more like uh, green like in here. So just up the saturation and adjust the U a little bit. And maybe play with the value as well if you want to do that. All right, so that is it for the color. And right now what I want to do is just get this image texture, put this into a color ramp, and we'll use this to adjust the roughness. So if you preview this, you will see this will be the value of our roughness and that will be applied to the mesh here. So in some parts it will be less rough and in some parts it will be rougher. So if we play with this a little bit more, 
you will see this will be shiny and this will be rougher. But overall, I want to keep this pretty shiny. If you look at like regular grass blades, this is of course some tall grass, so it's going to be rougher. Uh, but normal grass looks a little bit shinier. So we are just going to get this white value and drag it down a little bit until it becomes a little bit shiny like this. And that should be fine. The last thing we're going to do is add in a bump map and just connect the color to the height and normal to the normal. And they should give us a little bit of bump. Just decrease the amount to like 0.2. This will be your maximum that you're ever going to set it. All right, and that's great. And this is going to be it for our grass blade. So now we're going to be baking this to a external texture. And we don't want to do that in like this uh, three by four aspect ratio. We want to do it one by one and also have it optimally packed. So to do that, we need to go over to the object here, then go over to the data, then go over to UV maps and add in a new UV map. With this selected in blue, we can tap back into edit mode and we can adjust the UV. So just hit X on this image, just so we get back to a square UV map, and then just select it, rotate it. And what you can do is go over to UV, constrain the image bounds, and now you cannot move it outside of this square right here, which is what we want. If we just move it into the corner, then go over to this menu right here. So this is the 2D cursor, which will be our pivot point. We can now scale it up until it is the maximum height that we're ever going to get it. And this will be our optimal packing. And that's how we're going to render out our grass blade. This leaves you some room with extra grass blades or like flowers or something. Things you're going to make after this tutorial yourself. You could just add into this single image file just so you're saving some space. Uh, so if you want to do that, just save the image as a PNG with alpha. So later you can just place it on top of each other in different layers in Photoshop or other image editing softwares. All right, so right now we are going to be baking this to the image. So just make sure you're happy with everything. Then make sure you have this selected, but not in rendered mode. So this should have the camera icon and this shouldn't have, but it should be blue. Then what we want to do is add in an image texture. This is the image we're going to be baking this to. So set your resolution. I'm going to set mine to 2K just so I have a really high resolution that I can downscale later. I'm going to call this grass blade underscore base color, just so Blender recognizes it as a PBR texture. Then with this selected with the white outline and then our object selected here, then this UV map selected, go over to render properties, scroll down to bake, then select diffuse and then deselect direct and indirect and hit bake. This will bake the base color to an image, as you can see right here. And now we can just save this as an external image. So save it as a PNG RGBA if you want to use this later. I recommend setting the compression to zero. Then what we're going to be doing is just leaving this exactly as it is and just set this to roughness and hit bake. This will be your roughness map. Hit save as and call this roughness. So now we're going to be setting this to normal and hitting bake. And that should be it, so hit save. Save as, and then rename it here as normal. All right, when you have done that, we can just rename this to grass blade, and then we can just delete the, all of these nodes, and then just delete this UV right here. And then we want to go to file and then clean up and then purge and use data and do a recursive delete. This will just delete all of the images that we have loaded in. So now we can hit Control Shift T on our principled BSCF using the Node Wrangler add-on and select all of these and hit principled texture setup. This will just set up all of our textures like we would normally. Right now it looks like this and that is because we are still using the different UV map right here. Uh, and we want to be using this UV map right here as you can see. We can just delete this UV map and call this UV map. And that is pretty much it for the grass blade. So now we can go over to making a grass clump. So what I want to do is make a new collection right here and call this grass original. Get our grass plate in there and then just duplicate it and rotate it up by 90 degrees just so it's straight like this. And then what I want to do is go over to edit modes and with proportional editing, I'm just going to select vertices and rotating them 
and moving them around and making them look like normal grass uh, is supposed to look. So something like this, you know, a little bit curved. And just make about five variations of this. All right, so now I have something like this, these five grass blades, and we can just uh, move this back, just disable it. And what I want to do now is because we've used proportional editing, uh, our origins are a little bit messed up. So I want to go over to every single one and just place my 3D cursor at the bottom here and just do the origin to 3D cursor again and Alt-G to move it back to the world origin. All right, so now that they are back in place, I just want to rotate every single one until they are pretty much just like looking at the same direction. All right, so something like this, and now we can just select everything, hit Ctrl A, and then apply all transforms. This will just be easier to work with later down the line. But yeah, these are all of our grass blades. They look a little bit sharp, so what we can do is hit right mouse button on all of them and hit Shade Auto Smooth. And if they still don't look nice, you can go over to the uh, modifier here and set this to like 90, which will ensure that they are nice and smooth. If you want to make close-ups later, you can also add in a subdivision surface modifier. This makes them look a little bit more pretty, but also increases render time, so I'm not going to be doing that. All right, so this will be our grass blades. All right, so to make a grass clump, we are just going to make a new collection, call this grass, and then we can just duplicate these and move them into the grass collection. Just disable this, just so we have a backup here. What we want to do is start at the center here and then just move these into random directions and just make nice grass clumps. Make sure they're not all in like the center. They should be spaced out a little bit. But yeah, they should um, all pretty much just come back to the center. It could be a little bit chaotic, but just make sure that none of these are like overlapping uh, like this. That's what you want to avoid. Don't forget that you can also scale some of these if they are too small. So yeah, just scale some up, scale some down, just so you have some variation. All right, so now we have something like this and they have about 130 faces, which is fine. And something else I noticed was that of course, because we used an image of like a bigger grass blade, uh, this is going to be a little bit thicker. So just select everything and then hit S and then double click on Y and you can just scale these in just so they are a bit thinner. And this might also give you some more room to work with. It doesn't all have to clump together here. It doesn't all have to be like here. It could also be something like this. All right, so now we are left with something like this. And something else we can do to like make this even better is have some dead grass at the bottom here. So we can duplicate some of like these and flip them around so they're looking down. And then just place them kind of like here just so you have some grass blades that are maybe not doing so well. So I'm just going to select everything, hit Ctrl J, and this will merge all of these together. And then I want to hit Ctrl A and all transforms, just so the origin is back at the center and make sure that all of my angles are nice and smooth. And this is looking pretty great. And really nice and performative in here. Uh, what you can do is just duplicate this and then make some variations on this. So maybe you want a little bit less of these higher ones. So just set your 3D cursor to the origin here. Then select some of these grass blades. We're pressing L while hovering over them. Set your pivot point to 3D cursor by going over here. And then just scale it down a little bit. Just so it's a little bit less tall. Maybe rotate some of these around a little bit. And then later make sure that they are not overlapping. Just so we have a tiny variation that you probably won't be able to tell that there are that they are all the same. So like this, this looks a little bit different, which is nice. So maybe do that once or twice more, and then you're left with some nice grass blades. Something I want to add in, uh, if you're going to be using this only in Blender, we can just select one of these, hide the other one. And if we preview this, now all of these grass blades look the same which is not really optimal. It doesn't really look that realistic, to be honest. So what we can do is add in a use saturation and value node here. 
and then just change the hue around a little bit to like 0.4 so it's nice and like orangey yellow greenish and then what i want to do is add an a geometry node and this has the random per island value so i want to use that for the factor and this will apply the u change to only a couple of these faces so okay this only works in cycles uh, but yeah this this only applies the u transform to only a couple of these and so just so you can see i'll just turn down the saturation all the way so this one has like zero saturation this one still has the full amount but yeah this is just a uh, random per island as you can see right here so this just adds in a little bit of variation and this will only work if you are in blender uh, i'm sure you could do the same in like unreal engine or something uh, but you could not bake this to a texture so i think this is pretty much just it for our grass you can add in a plane scale the grass down probably because it's not in real world scale but that is for you to figure out and then if we just add in a simple a simple scattering system this is what your grass will look like so it's pretty much just like any other grass asset but it's completely made by you and you can uh, change anything you want about it so if i add in this dirt material here on the ground you will see this looks even better all right so that is it for the nature assets tutorial on grass if you want to see more nature assets like this please leave a like and subscribe and then i'll make one uh, this will be available on my patreon so you can go over there and support me uh, and that really helps make more videos like this so yeah that's it for me i'll see you in the next video goodbye